What's up guys, welcome back to another Profound Studios tutorial and today I'm going to be taking you guys through how to create two popular tech house leads that are used in a lot of tracks today. Uh, as much as they are quite overused, you can do a lot of uh, unique things with them when you do them right. So I'm going to show you guys how to create two of those and I'm also going to be giving away the presets completely for free. Uh, you just got to DM me on Instagram and um, they're all yours, no catch, no nothing. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Here we are inside my FL. Uh, the first sound we're going with today is just a typical tech house laser, which um, I know there's a lot of samples you can just grab and throw in there, but um, it's also good to know how to make it from scratch. So um, let's just get straight into it. Chuck the F LFO here, chuck it this level knob down. I'm going to chuck the LFO on the CRS knob as well and this is just to play with the pitch so you can go, you can pitch it down or you can go upwards that's really, it's just up to you really, it's up to your taste uh, let's turn the trig knob on and we can turn this up to about the 16 straight away like you've pretty much got a laser just like that, let's turn on some distortion What else have we got? We can go a little bit of reverb, not too much. Let's just single out the the. Okay. Well, we can add some chorus to widen it a little bit. We can EQ it. Very, very simple stuff really. Uh, some cool ways you can kind of um, just change it up a bit. Uh, we can chuck a mod wheel onto our CRS knob and we can just kind of something different. Uh, we can turn the rate up if we wanted to. So we can go chuck another mod wheel here. Let's turn, ease on that, that up. Let's turn that to about minus 25. And we can do the same on this. We can go the other way. So, so we can go from having it downwards. I mean, so going it from slowing down to speeding up. Very simple stuff this sound um, and there's lots of uh, just lots of ways you can kind of play with it we can pitch it down whoops we can pitch it down some more if we wanted to turn up the rate it's um yeah just play around once you once you've got the um, the sound down pat we can even um, change the uh, change the unison up if we wanted to. Uh, we could change the the wavetable. So yeah, you get the you get the idea. Um, that's pretty much it for the laser sound. So. Um, Let's move on to the next one. So for this second sound, um, it's kind of similar to the laser in terms of what we do at the start, but um, it's just a typical kind of stab that pitches up or down uh, that you hear for maybe the first four or eight bars of a tech house drop. Um, it's really popular. Um, let's just go ahead and set this up like we did with uh, the laser. So let's go LFO, except this time I'm going to go onto the filter as well. Let's turn our filter on. Let's turn the rate up to about 32. Let's turn trig on. Uh, we're also going to put the LFO onto the CRS knob as well. So that way we can either pitch it up or down. Uh, we can play with the unison a bit. And from here we can uh, drag a mod wheel onto our CRS. We can also turn the rate up. 
See how it just kind of has that, um, let's pitch it up a bit more. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Now let's... So you can sort of just play around with uh, this sort of stuff. You know, you can turn the rate back down. Maybe we can increase that. Lots of different stuff that you can uh, do. We can distort it again, like we do with the laser. Let's go, I think. We'll go the soft clipper th nah, tube, actually. Um, we can add some reverb. We can add chorus if we wanted to make it wider. Um, also, what we can do is we can add another, uh, <coughs> pardon me, another uh, mod here. Um, let's, okay. And we can, we can just play around really. Try out different uh, variations really. Um, it's quite a simple uh, process to do once you know what you're doing. Um, you know, you can play around with unison some more. You can even change um, change your shape. Let's go. You can go a square. Sounds pretty cool. What makes it different to the laser is that rate. So that's kind of like, that's getting real like kind of dirty bird style there. And if you don't want to use the mod wheels, um, what you can do is just shape it out with uh, our decay and sustain and whatnot. Let's turn. Sustain. Oops. Let's go back to our. Let's go back to our saw. That's we don't want that to happen. That's our laser again. We will remove these. So yeah, you kind of get the gist. Once you have this, the uh, the actual sound down pat, you can just play around with all these sort of things. Your rate, uh, uh, you turn your trig on, you can turn your BPM on or off. Let's shorten this. So, you know, you just play around with the release and So yeah, uh, I think that'll just about wrap it up for this tutorial. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's quite uh, basic stuff once you do know what you're doing. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Um, next Monday, I believe, uh, we're going to be dropping something very exciting. Uh, it's going to change the way the whole the whole uh, Profan Studios looks really, so um, keep an eye out for that. Um, if your video helped you, please do drop a subscribe and a like. Uh, it helps out a great deal. Um, and also just comment below your thoughts, well, you know, whether it helped you or not. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next week.